Google is closing the so-called social network Google+, after a lapse of security exposed users' data. So, the Wall Street Journal revealed that the company kept quiet about a bug that it found back in March. They did remedy it, but it had exposed data from up to 500,000 users of Google Plus since 2015. Google opted not to disclose anything until the Wall Street Journal report effectively for them to do so. At the same time, Google introduced new tools to give users more control about their data and their privacy. So, this is just yet another example of how tech giants like Google and Facebook are struggling with how to reconcile their competing uh, priorities. On one hand, safeguarding user trust. And on the other hand, making money, more and more money. So remember that when a service or a product is free, <laughs> well, you, my friend, are the product. More precisely, your data is the product. So really, more protection is needed. And what exactly happened? Well, a vulnerability in Google API used by third-party developers exposed data like usernames, email addresses, but also occupations, genders, and ages. Okay, Google found no evidence that anyone exploited it to steal user data. But still, it could have been that any of the 400 applications that might have used the APIs might have been able to access it. So what are the improvements in privacy? Well, first, Google will now limit the degree to which mobile apps can access an Android user's call log and SMS permissions. The company is also ending developers' ability to pull some data from the Android Contacts API, which gave them access not only to who you call, but for how long. That means that, until now, all of this data was exposed. Your SMSs, who you called, how long you spoke to them, this is unbelievable. And remember, recently we talked about a similar case where Facebook Messenger was not only able to access the messages you used uh, you sent using Messenger, but also the messages you sent by regular SMS and regular calls. This is just crazy. Also, all third-party applications that access sensitive Gmail APIs will need to submit to a thorough review. That means until now, they didn't have to. That's crazy. Remember, we spoke recently about how your Gmail emails could be read by many apps. In other words, it's incredible how nowadays there are still so many services Android, Gmail, Facebook and so on who give too much access to too much of your personal information to third parties without you knowing and with little or no control. So as a society, we need to take back control of, over our data. How? Well, one, by pressuring companies to be better citizens. Two, by pressuring policymakers to put in place the right safeguards. And three, by taking control ourselves, taking control of our data and take that into our own hands. So whenever possible, in order to do that, we have to use encryption. So that independently of any providers, whether cloud, internet, mobile, manufacturer, we know that they can't read our data because we have it encrypted. So that's exactly why HushUp is there for you. Remember, be safe on and offline, feel free to subscribe and we'll see you soon.